Hi guys, welcome back to the final part, part 4 of the Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager tutorial. This, uh, this is where we will talk about the Custom Mod Switcher, which is the feature that I've added to Custom Mod Manager and that allows you to basically select and apply your mods without having to exit the game window. So let's get right to it. Let's go to Custom Mod Manager and Color File. Just let me see. Okay, we have the, the Chun flowers and the makeup from the previous section of the tutorial, and Ryu has lots of them. Okay, so now let's apply the original ones just to make sure we start from scratch. So Chun with the original one, Ryu, not Sagat, but Ryu with the original color file one, apply to normal, yes, okay. Now let's launch Street Fighter 4, and I can launch it directly using the icon, or I can launch it using the custom mod switcher, so I'll activate custom mod switcher, and custom mod switcher, which is this window right here, allows me to assign a key to each character. Uh, in this case, uh, custom mod switcher comes bundled with a preset of keys, whereas able it's control Q, Chun Li it's control U, and Ryu is control I. Okay. So we are going to use Control U for Chun and Control I for Ryu. This is the character cycle key. What that means is uh, that when you're in the game, well, uh, I could use uh, visual, uh, I could use visual feedback, but uh, it would uh, it would require me to make some DirectX programming or something, and that's way too advanced for what I was accomplishing here, and way too hard. To, to make this in a short amount of time that I have. I made the, I made Custom Mod Manager in about a week or so. Uh, so I decided to use a voice synthesizer in order to give people uh, audio feedback instead of visual feedback. And so how does this work? Well, when you're, when you're selecting your costume you basically use this character cycle key in order to cycle through reuse costumes. Okay, so if for instance I'm, let's see, like Chun, for instance Chun. Chun has the, Chun has the flowers, the makeup, and then the original one and the alternate. Okay, the original all the flowers make up original and alternate. Not exactly by this order, but she has all four of them. So, if I go to custom mod switcher, and when I'm in game, if I press, let's see, Chun, control U, if I press control U, she will begin to cycle through that list of four costumes. And she, and she the, the voice synthesizer, will begin uh, telling the names of the costumes like uh, original costume selected or alternate costume selected or flower dress costume selected whatever you wrote on the costume description she will read it out to you so that you know what costume is uh, um, is, is the is the current one on the on the queue on the costume queue when you arrive to the costume that you want to apply, you click F1. It's the costume selection key. So when you click F1, he will apply the selected costume to the character Chun Li. Um, uh, if you want to apply uh, this costume to the alternate slot, you need to press F2 once, and F2 basically is the key uh, where you can uh, cycle between uh, normal slot or alternate slot. 
So normal slot is default. If you press F2, it will select the alternate slot. So from there on out, if you press F1, you will apply the costume selected to the alternate slot. If you press F2 again, uh, you will select the normal slot again. And then when you press F1, you will apply the costume back to the normal slot. Okay. Now, when you press Control U, you cycle forward in the list of Chun's costumes. But if you press F3, you will cycle backwards in the list of Chun's costumes. So, for instance, if you go costume 1, costume 2, costume 3, and then you go, oh man, I want to go back to costume 2 again, you don't have to cycle through uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and back to 1 again. You can just go back 1 with F3. Before you can use F3, of course, you have to select a character because F3 is a general character. It's not assigned to any uh, character. It's a global key. So when you press Control u and then press F3, you will cycle through Chun-Li's costumes backwards. If you press Control 2 and then F3, you will cycle back Sagat's uh, costumes. Now, uh, F4 is the random selection key, so basically what F4 does uh, is that um, after you select the character by using, like, for instance, uh, for you to select Chun, you have to uh, enter Control u uh, forget the selection, the game selection screen has nothing to do with this. So you could have your cursor on your uh, game uh, character selection screen on top of Sagat and you could still be choosing outfits for Chun-Li. Because of course the outfits will only appear if then in-game you select Chun-Li. But even though you don't select Chun-Li, you can change her outfits for the next time when you do choose Chun-Li, the, the outfits that you've selected will appear. Now, with that said, um, uh, if you press F4, he will, after you've selected a character, he will randomly select a costume from this character's uh, costume roster, um, and then you uh, only have to click F1 if you want to apply the costume he randomly selected for you. If you just want to go back to the normal costume of for a specific character, select a specific character by pressing Ctrl U and then press F5 and he will automatically select the original costume. Don't forget that after you press F3 or F4 or F5, you have only selected the costume but you haven't applied it. In order to apply a costume, you have to press F1. Uh, the global mode selection key basically uh, doesn't do anything as of yet, but uh, it uh, it was supposed to be uh, in order for you to uh, use sound modding as well, and you could alternate between uh, uh, the the costume mod interface and the sound mod interface. Okay, so uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the global mode selection. So forget that for now. I was all hyped up waiting for Super to come out to PC to be able to extend the functionality of 354 Custom Mod Manager, but that wasn't the reality, so um, Custom Mod Manager will stay as, as it is, at least for, for the time being. Now, the on-off key, the F7 here, well, what this basically does, it's what it says. Uh, it turns off all the other keys, like Control u and Control all the, the control combinations for selecting characters, and F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all disabled, except F7. So if you want to uh, like uh, uh, play with the keyboard and don't want to accidentally uh, press control something and make you miss that combo, you can always uh, turn off the custom mod switcher. Okay, 
So here you can go to default keys, uh, you can clear all keys and empty everything, or you can assign the keys you want and then save them. Okay, but for now, let's launch Street Fighter 4 and keep in mind that for Chun Li it's Control U and for Ryu it's Control I. Let's launch it. Okay. Oh, by the way, you have noticed it, but the first time you use Custom Mod Switcher, he will back up all of your uh, of your original uh, costumes. So, uh, but it it will only do this the first time around. So, has we uh, um, because we've already done this when we were importing and exporting the the customs with the color file manager and the zip, and when we exported it, he already backed up all the characters. That's why when we launch it, uh, you barely miss the the window. But the first time you run it, don't be scared if you have to wait like 30 seconds or 40 seconds before he backs up everything, and uh, it will only do this the once the first time. So. Let's launch Street Fighter 4. I'm not going to put this in full screen just for you to be able to realize what, what is actually going on, but uh, the point of the matter is Custom Mod Switcher, when he's all grayed up like this, he's running. He's running in the background, so I can use, use it in-game. So first, let's just go to training mode and verify that Chun and Ryu have their normal costumes on, or at least I think I did that. Yes, I did, okay. Now, let's pause this and let's use a custom mod switcher to select uh, an outfit for Ryu, like for instance the, the Cobra Kai one. So let's press Control i to begin cycling through uh, Ryu's costumes until we reach Cobra Kai, and then we'll press F1 to apply it to the normal slot, okay? So let's press Control i and when I press Control i the game sound will completely... Uh, uh, will, will be... The, the volume of the game sound will be turned to zero, so you can listen to the voice synthesizer and after the voice synthesizer finishes talking the vo the volume of the game sound will come back up so let's see that by pressing control and i ryu one adidas so she just said ryu one adidas so the the first costume is adidas that's not what we want so let's go on control i ryu two beard Ryu 2 is beard. No, that's not it. So let's just keep going until we reach Cobra Kai. Ryu 3 beard 1. Ryu 4 black and white GI. Ryu 5 black and white GI 1. Ryu 6 black dragon GI. Ryu 7 blood back. Ryu 8 Chris Redfield. Ryu 9 Chuck Norris. Ryu 10 Cobra Kai. Finally, after 10 tries, so the 10th outfit of Ryu is Cobra Kai or Cobra K, like the voice synthesizer just said. So if I want to apply it, I'll just press F1. OK. And she will say OK. So the costume is applied. Uh, now, for the same thing, I'll try to apply uh, a costume for uh, Chun. It, it can be the, the, the flower dresses. I, I think I have a flower dress in there somewhere. So let's see. Chun is control U. Chun Li 1, Chun Li flowers, C6 Rob. Okay, so Chun Li 1 is Chun Li flowers. So let's apply this one and press F1. Okay. Okay, so both of them are applied. So now, theoretically, if I go into character change and select Ryu and Chun again, uh, Ryu will be wearing the Cobra Kai and Chan will be wearing the flower dress. So let's check that out. And here you are Cobra Kai on Ryu and flower dress on Chan. So that 
that's basically it. Uh, you can the the advantage of custom mod switcher is that you can use it when the game is is at full screen and you don't have to alt tab out of the game so that you come to uh, so that you come to color file manager and select the costume and click apply but uh, for me personally I prefer this interface the color file manager uh, than the, um, the the custom mod switcher because the custom mod switcher when you have like I don't know 200 mods for a, a character it's really hard to push a button 200 times before you get to uh, to to the custom the to to the costume you want uh, as of uh, with the color file manager I can just scroll down and easily pick the the mod I want even I even have the preview to help me so but that's basically it um, I wanted to for you guys to have both choices like uh, in game and uh, I'll, I'll tabbing it uh, I'll tabbing out of it and being able to select it as well so uh, that wraps it up I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you guys and helped cl clear out your your questions so um, if I if I made any if I made any mistakes during the during the tutorial uh, uh, my bad but uh, I'm human so I guess that's normal as well and uh, I'm uh, uh, I want to apologize also for my English not being perfect, but I'm not English and I'm not American, I'm Portuguese, so uh, that wraps it up. Bye, guys.